And we now move to the next topic that, once again, seemingly has nothing to do with this sequence comparison. We are now on a sightseeing tour in Manhattan. And our goal is to walk from the intersection shown in blue to the intersection shown in red and to visit as many attractions as possible. The only restriction is that we can either move south or east. What should be our strategy to visit the maximum number of attractions on this trip? We can model Manhattan as a grid and show edges in this grid where there are attractions as edges of weight 1 and then our goal is to find a path in this graph that has maximum number of attractions. Sometimes computer scientists call longest path in this graph from the uh, blue node to the red node. Uh, we can actually try to solve this problem in an arbitrary grid with this arbitrary number of attractions like this grid shown here. There are many different ways to travel in this grid. For example, we can travel like this and in this case we will visit 18 attractions. The length of the longest pass is 18. Is it an optimal pass? No, because we can travel differently and in this case visit 20 attractions. What should be our strategy for the uh, optimum exploration of Manhattan? We need to solve the Manhattan tourist problem. The input is a weighted rectangular grid and the output a longest path from the source vertex, the vertex shown by blue, to the sink vertex, vertex shown by red in this grid. So what should we do? The simplest thing that comes to mind is to explore a greedy strategy. For example, we are in the very beginning. We can either move east or move south. If we move east, we will visit three attractions immediately. If we move south, we'll visit only one. It makes sense to move east. Let's do it. Then afterwards, once again, we can move either east or south. We make choice based on the maximum number of attractions and we continue like this. And finally, we arrive to the source visiting 23 attractions. And you have already guessed that this is a very simple strategy, but not optimal one. We need now to find the optimal strategy. Another thing we need to keep in mind is that Manhattan is not a perfect rectangular grid. Broadway cuts across. And we can model this grid as an arbitrary graph where edges can go from whatever vertex whatever node to whatever node and how do we travel in this grid and to travel in this grid we need to solve longest path in a directed graph problem where input is an edge weighted directed graph with this source and sync node and output is simply a longest path from source to sync in this graph now you may be surprised by now why i'm talking about alignment game and manhattan do you see connection between the longest pass problem and the alignment game? And it may not be obvious that there is a connection, but let's try to figure out what is it. Let's, for every column of the alignment matrix, let's code it with an arrow, as I showed in this slide. And then, after we design this arrow, let's see how this arrow would translate into the new grid that I have constructed and presented in this slide. The first arrow is diagonal. Let's move diagonally in our grid. The next arrow is also diagonal. Let's move diagonally again. The next arrow is horizontal. We continue further horizontally, diagonal, diagonal, uh, vertical, diagonal, vertical, diagonal. And actually using alignment matrix, we were able to travel in Manhattan grid, right? Now let's ask a reverse question. If we have a path in Manhattan grid, would we be able to construct the alignment matrix? Let's try. This is an arbitrary path in the alignment grid. Let's combine all the arrows in one place. And as soon as we've done it, of course we can construct the alignment matrix as I showed here. Therefore, alignments are nothing but passes in the grid. 
And therefore, to, to play the Lyman game, to construct longest common size segment, the only thing we need to do is to travel optimal ways in the graph. And the question often for sequence comparison problem in biology amounts to building an appropriate Manhattan. We'll do it a lot in this lecture. In the case of longest common subsequence, so what would be this Manhattan? In this case, diagonal red edges correspond to matching symbol and have score 1 if these uh, corresponding symbols uh, for this uh, diagonal uh, edges match to each other. And highest scoring alignment in this case is simply longest path in a properly built Manhattan. Uh, and to learn how we travel in whatever Manhattan, we need once again to talk about the problem that seemingly has nothing to do with biology, and it is the change problem.